Hello everybody and welcome back to day 58 of Spelunky 2. Hey Martin, how you doing? Hope everyone is doing well on this Sunday evening. I don't want to be Margaret. Margaret is, Margaret is for special occasions, you know? Let's be Ruffy. We've not been Ruffy yet. I don't know how I feel about Ruffy. Um... Maybe the grey the gray colour palette will work out in our favour, but I feel like I might have trouble, like, uh, distinguishing it from the background, but we'll see how it goes. So you'd missed the stream from earlier. Now, I uh, ended up going a little bit later, just because uh, I was watching a few other people and I was doing a few other bits and pieces, so. Another slightly later on today. Okay, so far, so good. Cat, not in a very accessible position. Not going to worry about that too much. Here it comes. Are you ready? There's that build. Spelunky time, baby. Okay, right, we got rid of him. Actually, I don't want to break this yet because I want to... Uh, Grab that. And then do that. Now there is a rock somewhere over here. I don't know where it ended up. Um, I'm not going to get too hung up on it. I would kind of like that rock. But uh, let's not get too worried. Let's not get too worried. There's more important things at play. I would kind of like the ghost pot though. Damn it! I was panicking about the uh, thing. Two ropes, less of a good investment. Still not like the worst investment, but... An investment I feel less good about making than when it was just one rope. This guy's calmed down, which is fine. We'll leave him there. Hey Tom, how's it doing? Two nights in a row, well done. Fantastic. Dual wielding NFL and me, fantastic. Who are you watching? Who's playing? Okay. Um, I would kind of like the rock. Rah. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, we don't need to worry about anything else here. We'll just grab this and leave. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. I'm having a pretty chill Sunday. Give that snake what for. Someone's getting punched over there. It is a turkey. That's a little bit of a shame. It's going to make it... A little unlikely that we get any turkey action. Um, from Yang because you know he's going to be upset that one of his turkeys is dead so I'm just going to have to leave it be is, he, is Ruffy wearing like a little hoodie I think he is that's kind of cool I like the idea of a sloth wearing a hoodie I feel like that's it's kind of appropriate okay well he took the hit for us there still don't love how that went but it's okay Okay, now he's now he's also dead. <laughs> We're down both turkeys, um, which is a little bit of a shame, but such is the way of things sometimes. All right. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll jump. Ah, oh, man, just a little imprecise sometimes. Your video editing and watching this stream might not be the best idea. Uh, yeah, I was doing some video editing earlier while I was watching uh, someone else uh, do some stream. I don't know, it's okay. It, 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 some stuff you have to mute the stream for, I feel like. you can't, There's some things that you, you kind of need to hear, the thing you're editing. But it does depend on what you're editing. Um, okay. Pretty sure we've set this off, but we'll, uh, we'll triple check. Uh, I'd love to buy this, and I'd love to buy the compass. I kind of want the mattock, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. 
Beautiful. Um, okay. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. And we get a few ropes, which is perfect. We needed a few ropes. Now, we do have a little bit of cash. We could hypothetically come back up for the mattock. I don't know if I want it that much, but... It wouldn't be the worst idea. Mmm, didn't see that one. Just, just somehow didn't catch it. Okay, alright. <laughs> Makes this run a little bit harder. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing at the Carolina Panthers. It was close until the second half, but now it is chaos. Hmm. I've really not been up on NFL this season. Uh, I, I, I'm always interested in it, but like, it's just, it's kind of awkward to watch in the UK. Uh, so I just tend not to keep up with it because of that. Uh, yeah, I'll sure, I'll use a rope. I'll use a rope. We've got, um, we have four ropes. Okay, easy does it. I really thought we'd get him there. Perfect. We afford that? Yeah, we can. Okay. Too many moles, that's what I say. Too many moles. 6 p.m. on Sunday is the early game. It's only on Sky. Exactly. Yeah, I don't have access to Sky, so not the most convenient for me, unfortunately. But hey, it is what it is. It used to be on. Uh, they used to put some of the games on like Channel Five, I think. I genuinely thought he was going to go in the floor before I did that. Genuinely thought he was going to go in the floor before I did that. But hey. All right, I need to focus up. I feel like I've uh, started today a little bit chaotic. I need to pay attention. Hunter's chicken with some sweet potato fries. Ooh, that sounds very good. I love Hunter's chicken. Okay, let's get this guy toasted. Uh, we can just go down, to be honest. We don't need to deal with this guy. We're not going back up there. Perfect. Lovely. Hunter's chicken. Hunter's chicken is uh, usually chicken with um, cheese and bacon and a barbecue sauce on it, traditionally. Yeah. That's it. Oh man, I was looking at the chat. I didn't see the the tilt. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Hi, Wongo, by the way. Welcome back. And uh, yes, yeah. It's, it's chicken wrapped with bacon, uh, and then it's got uh, cheese on it, uh, melted cheddar cheese normally, and barbecue sauce. It's it's real good. I've not had it in a long time, actually. But it's, uh, it's a classic. It's, it's often like a pub classic. It's one you'll find on a lot of pub menus. A lot of bad damage today. Don't know I'm feeling roughy. I don't also hate everything that's going on here. Okay, well, that's you done which is a start. There's still more. There's so many. This is, and this level is awful. There's three moles in there and we just killed one. Wow, that's interesting that that counted as a hit. That's uh, bizarre. Oh my goodness. I hate this. Oh, I hate this so much. What is going on? There's even more of them. This is a nightmare factory. Are you seeing this? What is this level?
And we don't even have the thing. All right, we're doing a key run because I, I can't get to the key from here. So, uh... <laughs> Death by Mole. Who was Hunter? <laughs> Some uh, It's uh, Guy Fieri's son, I think, is Hunter. Uh, I think it's just Hunter is in like, you know, a Hunter. You know, it's the it's the it's the meal that a hunter would have. It's chicken and bacon. You know, the the, the classic hunter's targets: chickens and pigs. I actually don't know where your name or, origin originates from, but uh, it is delicious. Uh, but that would be my guess is that it comes from, uh, you know, like a hunter rather than from a person. It could be from a person. I might be completely off on that. Um, but that would be my assumption. Okay, that's not quite what I meant to do. <laughs> We've lost the idol. Man, one of those days, huh? Just one of those days. Where are we going down here? Okay. Pretty safe. Pretty safe. Hmm. You should be okay to go down. Alright. Hunters love pigs. They do. I mean, it, it, listen. That's the exact thing that got us... <laughs> That's the exact setup that got us killed yesterday. Yeah, classic game meat. Do you yeah, if I was a hunter, I I'd definitely be a, a pig hunter. I feel like that's... P to be fair, like, pigs can be quite dangerous, like, especially, like, boars and stuff. But I feel like, you know, the average farm pig is not a particularly threatening animal to hunt. But, you know... Hunting endangered animals is obviously bad anyway, so. Okay. Uh, we can go down here, this is safe. Alright. Got those, uh, got those dirty runs out of our system. We're focused in, we're focused up. Hi, Orion. How's it going? How is the rest of the destinying? How's your gear looking? I wonder why the pug. Look, the pug has gone safely out of the door, where he will be ready to meet us and give us a lovely, warm embrace. Look, he's right here. You went for six hours, and your number is big. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Uh, go check out Ryan if you are into the Destiny 2. He is very good at Destiny. And, and many other games as well. Ryan streams a lot. Um, but he knows his Destiny. So if you want to see some of the new Destiny 2 content, that's your boy. Okay. Um, this guy is just having a nap. And I don't really want to bother him, but I think he's going to wake up anyway. A little scary there, to be honest, because there is a spike pit down here, um, but we're okay. Uh, we don't have anything. I'll buy a skeleton key. <laughs> yeah, the big ups. Didn't finish your weeklies, but you're doing them off stream, yeah. Some of that stuff, some of the weekly stuff, I don't know if it's changed too much in the new expansion, but weekly stuff is sometimes a little bit more, I say tedious, like I enjoy it, but it is, you know, it's, it's not the kind of stuff that necessarily you would do on stream. It's, it's like a, usually a little bit, uh, bit slower paced. Come back over here, buddy. I actually don't think he'll make it over, but... Okay. We'll wait for this guy to come down. Yeah, you got to do that grind. you got to hit up that grind. I mean, I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption online recently, and that's just... That is pure, like, some of those, some of those uh, dailies you do are just the, the most, like, low-key activities in the world. Um, they are very satisfying to do, 
but they're not what you would call like high octane action. Um, certainly. So uh, I can definitely empathise with with that kind of thing. Okay. Plan was to show people how you prep for raids and power power level, but uh, you do it in dribs and drabs. Some of it was like switching gear and manipulate. Yeah, I I seem to remember doing that in Base Destiny where we were spent we spent ages trying to figure out like are the are the, the the gear drops based on your like equipped gear so like um and i i want to say that like they were based on what you were wearing when stuff dropped in base destiny 2 and not when you decrypted them but i do remember putting there was certainly a period where i remember putting gear on uh specifically to decrypt stuff because i was like oh yeah it's gonna uh, affect my um the gear that I'm decrypting, like what I'm wearing. So I'll, I'll put, always put my highest numbers on when I decrypt stuff. Uh, and I don't remember if that was ever like actually the thing to do, but it was certainly a thing that we did do when I was playing a lot. This boy is going to the, going to the saucer. Destiny 2 is based on highest equipable gear anywhere now, including the vault. Yeah, that, sound, that does sound familiar now that you say that. Uh, I kind of want that guy's body. I wish I hadn't thrown him down there, but... Hey ho. I think that probably is the right way to do it. Um, like, because it's just... Because otherwise you do have to... Otherwise all that happens is the players that know about it spend all their time switching their gear around to get the correct stuff. And the players that don't know about it are just disadvantaged because they don't know about a thing that the game doesn't necessarily tell them. You know, so... I think it's the correct move to... Um, to do that. Okay, I have not set this arrow trap off. It's alright, we can set this guy down. Thank you. Oh dear. I would love to bring this guy back up. I don't think we can get up without, uh, without a rope. But, uh, definitely a possibility. Um... Set both of those off. I don't know what else to do down the bottom. Is it worth a rope for this? Sure. Sure. You know what? Uh, I might just have a quick peek over the side, see if we can see anything else. Because um, there are some other things over here. It would be kind of nice to get that idle, to be honest. If we can. I guess we can go through here, right? I didn't really factor that in, but... Powerful and Prime Engrams are assigned numbers as soon as you earn them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, it's, it's just... Anything else is just a system that kind of punishes the people that don't know what they're doing. And that's no fun. Okay, this turkey's not coming with us, so I don't really know why I'm tame. Well, actually, no, we can get out here, can't we? Because um, there's a... Okay, well... <laughs> I would like to bring this turkey with us. Yeah, I thought so. Come on, I'll be get buddy. Love to rope. I do love to rope. It's one of the hot strats of Spelunky is using those ropes effectively. Okay. 1-4 is our, our boss level. So Ryan, you were asking about secret stuff in Spelunky earlier. So up there on the in the top right next to our um, our current money is uh, like an, uh, uh, an Ujitai, like an Egyptian eye symbol. Uh, that's an item we collected in World 1. And we'll be using that later if we get further uh, to uh, discover more secret areas, basically. That we will then use to get to further secrets. 
So that's basically the first step in our secret chain. You waste all of yours doing something without thinking, then having to backtrack. Yeah, it is. It's very hard to get out of the habit of just, you know, um, jumping down somewhere, and then you realise that you don't actually know where to go, or you don't know where you can go. Um, is there anywhere over here with a ton of gems? No. Kind of hoping I could do a little bomb there. Um, seven health. I don't actually know if I value... I think I value the bomb a bit more than the health. On seven health. Um, okay, let me just do that so that I can... There we go. Like, it's this one in particular, it took me so long to get used to the fact that I can't get back up there when I, when I jump on it. And I don't like having spring shoes, but they will help us in World 2. Um, because they'll let us stand on the spiky blocks. Hello there. I <laughs> very almost didn't see that. Okay, okay. You're not shutting. I whip. I whipped you enough that you moved, but not enough that you were gonna break, or you're gonna sh snap shut. You're stuck, buddy. Lovely bit of sticky paste. Always love to have the sticky paste. Makes our life a lot easier. Ow! Don't love that. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Not ideal, certainly, but listen. Um, not a fan of these things. Very much not a fan of these things. Okay, what are we, what are we working with here? Another guy up here. Is there anything else up top? Doesn't look like it, that's where we came in. We'll grab the pet, bring the pet with us. There is gold down there, but it's so awkward. <laughs> okay. I don't need this guy. It's fine. We'll just leave him be. Um, okay, let's just move on. Let's move on. Conserving resources. A little disappointed that didn't hit, to be honest, but... Very disappointed about just walking into that mosquito. It happens. you, you got to not dwell on it too much, otherwise it's all you'll ever think about. No worries, Parsley. Always nice to see you. I'll catch up with you in a few minutes, most likely. Every time I see the well, I assume that I've done something stupid, which I presume was getting hit by that mosquito. Um, listen, it happens. I really do actually quite like his outfit. His little vibe in tracksuit with the hoodie. It's a good, it's a good look. Okay, we need to whip this guy, which is kind of scary because if I uh, do anything else. Oh gosh, that boomerang man is going to kill us. Uh, I don't have a pitcher's mate here either, so... Man, I cannot believe that I didn't actually hit him. Okay, well we got the boomerang off him, so that's fine. I'm not too worried about him anymore. Uh, I was just scared that if we came back up to do any sacrificing, we might get into trouble. Um, this guy is dead. That's... That's good to see. Okay, this guy is also effectively dead at this point. Not going to worry about these guys. I can't really get to that, that dude. It would be such a risk to get him out um, that I'm not going to toy around with it. I'm no fool, usually. Okay, our secret area is here. I heard the tick, and I'm pretty sure it was the right tick. 
Okay, so now you see our Ujitai is blinking. Which means that somewhere... Somewhere close to here... Looks like it's probably closer to this side. Is uh, a secret entrance to the black market. There we go. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. Okay, so now let's do some shopping, right? We don't have enough money for the hedge yet, so... <laughs> which always brings in the question is like, do we just steal stuff? Which is very scary, but we should be able to do it. Or do we buy the head jet and nothing else? Which is doable, but it's quite a scary thing to do. Okay. Bad damage there. I should have put the rock down before I went down. I was very cautious about throwing the rock. Now, we do have enough money for the head jet now. Um, it would mean not buying anything else. Go full hedge. Do you mean I just buy the head jet and nothing else? Because that feels like a risky strat. I mean, that's how it would play if we came through uh, Volcana. I guess, honestly, it depends what's for sale. Because I do like bombs, and there's a lot of bombs on sale. But there's no cape. There's honestly not a lot of stuff. And so I'm half tempted to just not. Uh, even though it hurts to not get the bombs. Like, you spend a lot of resources fighting all the shopkeepers. So I'm inclined to just buy the spike shoes and call it a day. Um, if there was also a cape, I would almost certainly be fighting them. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you might actually be uh, right on that one. I, I would like the other stuff, but I'm, I'm, I, want, I want that rock back. Okay. Uh, not having, like, the bomb boxes were very tempting, certainly. Um, but at the same time... At the same time, you do have to be cognizant of how much money you're spending. Uh, anything obvious here that we want to look out for? That's just the moon challenge. Uh, I would like to do the moon challenge. We're not actually too far off the money for it. God, I really don't like what's going on down here. <laughs> I like how the skulls fly off with them. Um, that's very funny. That's not enough gold. Easy does it. <laughs> uh, don't like this. Don't like anything here. A little bit more gold. Still not enough. That will do it. Okay, I'm going to do the moon challenge. Moon challenge is great. Good resources. And you usually make your money back, especially with the hedger. Good play, good play. Thank you. Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Uh, we have spike shoes, we could fight it. We don't have a ton of other resources, which is maybe the, the concerning thing. Wow, I didn't expect it to die so quickly. I think it just like, it like got jammed inside us. And we just did massive spike shoe damage there. Okay, more spike shoes. A little bit disappointing uh, to get them now. 
when we've already spent the resources, but I'll live with it. Okay, uh, bow down there with a ruby. I would like to get the stuff here. There's actually a lot of rubies here. That's pure money. It's not actually anything valuable. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. Like, it's not bombs or something like that is obviously what I mean there. Um, and that's just a chest. Chest not necessarily valuable. So I guess we'll go down here. Okay. <laughs> Big spiders inside me, exactly. I swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why I swallowed a fly. Perhaps I'll die. I think we're probably close to burning this out anyway, but let's let's see if we can get this ruby. Ah, oh, we did, and we're still going. Okay, there we are. Oh, we have spent a lot of time. I mean, we, we already cleared some of the level, but not a ton of the level. I would love to get through there. It's a little awkward to do so. Um, but maybe we can go this way. No, we, we already checked over here, didn't we? There was, it was a nightmare session. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. Exit is down here. Really don't like what's going on here. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got a little bit of time as well. That guy can't hit us. And we even threw the key down, which is good. Uh, want the boomerang for this. We got a little bit of time here. Okay, we'll see what's in the door. Get this, get this, jump out, grab the ghost pot. And head out. That seemed okay. Hall Nightmare Session sounds like a Halloween EDM EP. Hell yeah. It's just uh, Nightcore remixes of that This Is Halloween. Classic Nightcore song, by the way. Okay, I don't think that skull will come up to us from here, but you never really... I never know with these things. I feel like sometimes they do. Sometimes they come up further than you're anticipating, and you really have to be careful of that. Like here. This is uh, very scary. Okay, we have not dealt with this guy. We may actually not need to, but I might do it anyway. Just because he's quite scary. Uh, I don't really want to go down there. These little intricate holes are a nightmare to navigate. Oh, come on, come on. The worst bit there was that I didn't actually get up after the <laughs> after doing it, so I was still in like a limbo area where I could take damage again. Huh? Can't believe I got stuck in here. I can't believe you got stuck in here either, but listen, we've all we all have our problems. Parmesan. Right, this is just a dead end. Uh, I guess I should check what's in here. A little bit of gold. We got some time. Um half tempted to come out this door, but I don't remember what was out here, so we need to be very careful. Okay, we're okay. No, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, that was... I don't think I needed to move as quickly as I could there, but I got in such an awkward corner. 
that was all the skulls doing. I was just I was just trying to get away from the skull, and then I couldn't go up because there were boomerang men up. I couldn't go down because there were boomerang men down. That was that was nightmarish. That was horrible. All right. A little bit shorter as we went so long yesterday. So. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get on to the old daily. Yeah, damn skull. Uh, keep it a shorter one today. A lighter one. It is the... Okay, 15th. Daily challenge for the 15th of November, 2020. In we come with Margaret, as we always do. Yesterday's was pretty good. I felt okay about how it went. Okay. This this little zone always terrifies me. That 500 gold is certainly gettable. You know, we could climb back up, but it's a long time investment. And I don't know that the time investment is, is worth it. We'll wait for this chap to waddle over. He looks like he might be injured. Okay, he was not injured. I only say that because he was moving kind of quickly. And that sometimes indicates that they've uh, already been hurt. Okay, so far so good. We're going to whip this down. Beautiful. Uh, we don't really need to go in that little zone, but we'll do it. Because it will let us get across. Seems like one of those... Um, one ones where like you just can't get to very much i feel like i've seen that quite a lot where it's, it's not that one one is uneventful it's that there's like most of it's inaccessible which is almost more annoying um tempted to spend a bomb for the ghost pot i am tempted by that uh, i may end up doing that we'll see see how we feel um by see how we feel i mean i think i'm probably going to do that Hi Andrew, how's it going? How's the... The F1 went alright, I take it. It was good fun, it was good fun to watch a bit of F1 action. Okay, we didn't actually... I thought we'd... Oh, of course you can't... Yeah, I, I remember now. I guess I'll just... Okay, easy does it. A cornered lizard is more dangerous than a normal one. Oh, I'm glad we broke that pot because jetpack is very tempting. Uh, skeleton key, also good. Uh, but I shouldn't buy the skeleton key because if the jetpack becomes available, uh, I will feel regret for having spent my gold on the skeleton key, you know. That's further than I intended to throw you there, buddy. Kind of where I wanted him. Okay, uh, still not enough gold. Still need a little bit more than we've got. Okay, just having to look around, see if there's any. This this gold is accessible. I'm tempted to rope down for it. Um, because we can get back up. I'll just check if there's any gold in here first. Because there might be enough gold that we don't need to worry about spending the extra rope. Why am I... What am I doing here? <laughs> of course there's like barely not enough. Also, where's the entrance to that? That's what I want to know. I'm looking for a secret entrance now. Because I know there's going to be one. Is it here? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess I guess we spend the rope here. A little bit of a weird rope. Um, but if we have a jetpack, we don't really need ropes, so... That was very scary. I, I almost didn't see that guy. I don't like this at all.
Much better. Much better. Also, we still haven't got the uh, the key yet, so... Worth bearing in mind that we need to do that. Uh, we should have time to get the key back up, but it's going to be a little bit scary. Jetpack makes your life quite a bit easier on the whole. Climbing gloves sometimes makes it harder, to be honest. We are going to be tight for time here, that's for sure. Let's make sure we don't get ourselves killed doing this. Okay, and we're out. Not too bad. There was a, that was a big daddy pitcher's throw, yeah. Um, that worked out pretty well. Um, okay, hang on just a sec. I need to recover mentally from that level. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> oh dear, that one was scary. And, and now we're going to be in... Now we're in a dark level. World 3. I don't like this. There's, <laughs> there's so much stuff here. I think also it's worth, like... Although we now have the jetpack, you shouldn't play like you have the jetpack all the time. Like, that's how you get yourself killed. Uh, so I think it's actually prudent not to... You know, you use the jetpack when you need the jetpack, but you don't always run with the jetpack. Because that, that, that actually gets you in more trouble than it solves a lot of the time. Because you will, you'll boost yourself into like a bad situation, um, and then not be able to get out of it. Like it's very tempting just to use the jetpack constantly, and I think that's actually often a mistake. Um, if you're a very, very practiced, oh my gosh, the fire arrow! I told you the dark level would be the end of us. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Flay arrow. Arrow hits the... In fact, no, it doesn't even matter that we're holding a torch. The arrows in dark levels are on fire. And so it hit the, hit the thing and blew us up. <sighs> All right. One more run, as that one was so short. I'll do one more uh, for the funsies. Um, let's do an Anna run. Classic Anna run. In honor of Destiny 2. Maybe we'll try and do a key run. Uh, if I remember. And don't just immediately forget and throw the key away. Okay. Get the speed lunky while we're at it. A little disappointed in that. Bad damage. It's not going to be much of a speed lunky if you die. That's the only problem. It's like, you do have to stay alive to do speed lunky. drop this down grab our pet also don't think we're gonna be on course for speed lunky you have to be so quick to do speed lunky and while you can go through the later levels faster uh, like it's still difficult to do it effectively maybe one day I'll give it a shot but you've seen you've seen how I play and it's not fast okay the, the pet is fine
I don't still know if the pet is fine, to be honest. Uh, the pet is fine, but in a nightmare scenario. Okay. Probably not going to be a speed lunky, but we're okay. We're alive. We're kicking. Risk averse lunky. Yeah, exactly. That's me. You made it a, fur a stage further than me for a change. Well done. That is good going. Well, I say that. It's not like it was a great run from me, but but yeah. Listen, if you if you want to treat beating me as success, I am okay with that. Because that means I'm doing well. <laughs> and I'm not convinced that's the case, but wow. We're just dropping flaming arrows into Yang's house. Okay, another dark level, by the way. Um... Which I don't like. Also, getting everything at the start of the level, that's a pain. this down. It got on the turkey. Of course it did. It got on the turkey. Um, let's drop you in here because you won't get hurt. That has not gone off. That's definitely not gone off. Okay. You should be safe to go down now. Uh, you, this should also go down. Oh man, I want that torch. Um, I can't bring the turkey. I could cook the turkey. Yang can't see that. There's our rope. Speed Lunky very much out the window here. Dark levels... I think they actually took... They changed uh, Spelunky 1 so you couldn't get dark levels if you were going fast enough. Uh, which was kind of a concession to Speed Lunky. Um, just because it was so difficult to do it if you were going... Uh, it was so difficult to do it when you got a dark level. Like, it was such a detriment to the... the chances of getting Speed Lunky done. Bad damage. Terrible damage. I need something that's not going to kill me if I hit myself with it. <laughs> I was like, if I throw the arrow and I mess it up, I'm going to kill myself. This is... I don't like this. I do not like the dark levels, Derek. I never did. I still don't. They're awful. Also, I need the ghost to come in over there. Although, I don't know if that would have been better if the ghost being in there. <laughs> I mean, I beat the daily yesterday and you have made it to World 3. Yeah, as I mean, I've played more than you. I think that's as much as anything. I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident that you'll get there. I know my risk-averse style does sometimes play in my favour, but also it plays against me sometimes. Um, you know, Spelunky is not always a game that benefits you being risk averse. Um, it often does, but certainly not always. Okay, I don't really mind which way we go, um, but we're not going to be able to get into... Uh, we're not going to be able to get into the um, either area. Like, the black market will need to manually spot it, which... Oh, you're not dead. Hello. <laughs> we'll need to manually spot it. Um...
Which doesn't normally happen. Uh, to get into Vlad's area, we would need to have a ton of bombs. We do not have a ton of bombs, so the odds of getting into Vlad's area are very low. Much lower than the odds of us finding the black market. Which I also think l unlikely to happen, but it's possible. It's po there's a possibility that we find the black market. I think it's much less likely. I do want this gold. You play too fast and run off ledges and into things. Yeah, very. Yeah, I mean, even. Uh, I play too fast for myself, certainly. <laughs> Which is at any speed at all. But, um. Okay. Hopefully, fewer... Ah! Oh, he whips it back over. Beautiful. Love that. Uh, I don't think I want to go up there. Um... Excuse me? Okay, alright. I hear this leprechaun banging about, and I don't like him. Yeah, the dirty double tap. Oh, this isn't actually where we want to go anyway. Okay, so we want to go over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. They do get stuck for a very long time. I, I always I always panic that I need to get them quickly, but they do actually last a pretty long time before the mosquitoes, before they uh, come out once they get stuck. I kind of wish real mosquitoes worked like that. I really want to push that across, but I, I can't really feasibly do so, I don't think. Okay, so far, feeling okay about ourselves. We'll take, uh, we'll take a moon challenge, of course. Extra time. Bit of extra cash. Ooh, hello. Uh, we don't have spring shoes this time, so I'm actually... We have a few more bombs. I'm gonna spend the bomb there. Uh, you can do it without... Uh, I don't think you need um, spike shoes to kill those guys, just to be clear, but it does make it a little bit safer because you only have to bump on them once or twice. It's just, uh, there's just nothing over here, eh? Uh, a bit of gold. Not too much down there. Um, I guess we'll go check in here. There's a chest. Chests are usually valuable. That's pretty valuable. This is a weirdly empty um, moon challenge so far. Guess we'll take that. Don't have much choice but to take it, so... And there we go. Really not actually a great deal in there. Uh, I don't know how that worked out monetarily, to be honest. Okay, well, I like rather him than me. Easy does it. I'm going to set this off even though... I don't like that you can whip those and not trap them shut. That feels... I don't know. That feels wrong somehow. Like, I feel like... Hmm, hello. It feels like it shouldn't work that way. Uh, okay, altar. I would like to go to an altar. Um, certainly. Um, now there's definitely at least one uh, nasty boy down here.
Okay, that's him dealt with. Key is here. We have plenty of time to go back up. You have made my life harder. Demonstrably so, but we're okay. The problem is we're unlikely to get this guy alive now. Unfortunately. Which does hurt a little bit. That means we're on five points instead of uh, what we actually could have been on. Okay. Feeling good about that. We'll, uh, we'll bring this guy down. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay, I think we're all right. Some glasses. Love glasses. So far, feeling okay. Don't have a ton of health, but, uh... We do have some. Not quite sure what killed him there, but I'm not going to complain. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't like this, though. I really don't like this. And they're with the ghost pot as well. That is such a... That's such an awful uh, thing. I'm actually tempted to, like... Uh, spend a bomb and try and circumnavigate this somewhat. Um, just because it's such a it's such a bad situation to be in. Okay, we're not too worried about the black market. We're we're more worried about progression. Still don't really see a clear black market hole, but I, I think it's it's so I'm so bad at spotting them uh, on Spelunky 2. Okay, just wanted to make sure I got that guy killed. We got a little bit of time here. I don't want to get ourselves in a bad situation. That's the stuff. Now I am tempted to throw this because yeah, worst case scenario, uh, we can rope down into the pit. Not ideal, but. I'd rather do that and try and get rid of the monkeys and try and deal with two monkeys at once there. Okay. Really don't like doing those. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm used to them now, but I still don't like doing them. I'm just going to deal with this guy. Okay. He's very scary. He's very scary. Uh, but we've got rid of him, and that's good. Parmesan is free. Also good. How far do I have to get this key? I have to get this key through World 4 to the end of World 4 into 5-1. Uh, <laughs> which is quite an ask. But we're a decent chunk of the way there. Um, you know, we're, we're about halfway there, all things considered. Don't love that damage that we took. Get a little bit more health. 
and a little bit more health. Uh, this is probably not the way we need to go. Probably got to go over this way. Does seem like we have to go over this way. Just, uh, just get get a bit more blood if we can. I'll wait for him to come down. Just a little bit more blood. Fill up my cup. Muzzle off. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the monkey. I'm also not going to fight Olmec properly. We don't have any gear. And, uh... So my goal is just really to get through these next two areas without major incident. Which is much easier said than done. But I think we can do it. I mean, I know we can do it. It's just, you know, it's going to be getting through the tide pool and not dying. A place where there's not a lot of healing. Um, now, I do want to get all this sweet, sweet blood. Of course, of course, there's another dark level. Of course, it's another dark level. There is an altar. And an altar is always promising. But it is a dark level. And the problem is, this will go out as soon as we, like, get it in water. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I didn't even light one of them. Because as soon as you light one of them, at least you can work with that. Okay, well, let's just take the key with us for now. Um... Really not a fan of anything going on here. Okay, we've dropped our key down. Hopefully, not irretrievably. So we shouldn't. It shouldn't be irretrievable. There we go. Because we do always have ropes to get down to it. The only thing will be if we drop it into um, a uh, what are they called? The um, <clears throat> if we drop it into one of the uh, snap traps, that will be the thing where. We will no longer be able to get our key back. Power pack, pretty cool. Not actually a very dangerous item to have here. Um, but I don't know that I'll go out of my way for it. Um, I might just I might just leave it at that. Uh, do I want to gamble for the power pack? The power pack is quite a nice item to have. Um, but I feel like it's, it's as much risk as it is reward. And we have such singular focus here. I kind of want to, I want to bomb my way past this guy almost. I don't... I don't think he can see me down here. So we can just put a bomb down. And drop down safely. Don't need to do the stars challenge, and in fact, I don't think it will help us. I hate this. I really do. And she's going to drop on us as soon as we go down. I... This level is... One of the scariest Spelunky levels... I've encountered in my entire life. I'm going to wait for him to go past. We've only got one bomb. This is the problem with not having bombs. Okay. I was, it was worth taking the damage there. There's even more of them. No, get off me! And uh, now our key is over there as well. It's the axolotl that did it. Okay, 
Okay, we're through. We're okay. Do I want to go down there? No, I don't want to tussle. I don't want to tussle. That was... N <laughs> Honestly, I'm pleased I'm alive after that awful, awful nightmare. Oh, give me the cape. Maybe the I, the climbing gloves could be as much trouble as they are a solution. Um, but I'll take them. Okay, well, we've immediately gotten ourselves hit. This is very scary. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. This is fine. Can you go to the that way a bit? There we go. That's what I was. That's what I wanted. Just to get rid of you. I want to I want to get up here because I want the blood out of here. Oh my gosh. We're okay. We're alive still somehow. <laughs> this is the tent. Yeah, this is so tense. I wasn't this tense when I did the first uh the first win. I hate that. Ah, <sighs> we're alive for now. Easy does it. I really want that pet. That pet would be such a good source of blood. Okay, that's setting that off is very good. Oh, oh my goodness. Hi, how's the adventure going? Almost there. The only thing in the way is a door with a lock shaped like a scarab. That key you're holding looks like it'll fit perfectly. Sure thing, Mama Tunnel. I can't wait to finish this shortcut. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. That I'm so happy with that. What a salvage to the day, right? Let's get a big win. Let's get a big win. Uh, we don't actually have... Um... Can you jump on yetis? I actually can't... You can do something to yetis, but I... you can't whip them. Jump on them, okay. Good to know. Will he... he will walk into that landmine, right? Yeah, he will. Okay. And that one. <laughs> so scary. So scary, always. Right, we're going down. Give me, give me your blood. I want your blood. Okay. 
Okay, so far. All right, this guy is toasted. A little bit more blood. Although, I don't think we picked it up anyway, so... Ah, I would, I would really like just a tad more blood. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, that's fine. Anna? Anna? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, we did it though. We did it. We did it. Heartbreaking, but it's okay. We got the thing we wanted done. Look at this. World 5 shortcut. We just go in. We're just here now. Bonk. What are you going to do, Yeti? Nothing. Nothing. We're just up here now. This is where we live. You can't stop us. Sacrifice these guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't think you can sacrifice people on this altar. My guess is that you have to... My guess is you have to put the eggplant on that altar because it's all purple and sticky. And to me, that says eggplant. You can't... <laughs> you can't sacrifice yourself on that altar. Um, let's do one more run. I want to I wanna do some ice caves action. I kind of love... Um, having this opportunity... Uh, coming here without any gear is very scary. I will say that. Like, coming here with no, um... No equipment. No anything. These guys just bouncing around. And maybe we can do the ice cave trick I was talking about. So we want to hang off that thing, which is... Honestly, I don't even know how we begin to do that with these two guys here, but... We'll, uh, we'll see how we... We'll see how we fare. Okay, and then you just drop straight down. You see, so you see how this is open on the right-hand side, this little cavern where the door is. You hang off the platform below it, on the side that it's open, the right side, and then you drop down, and there's always a thing to catch. Now there wasn't last time we did it, but that that was a factor of um, the way that we came down. Uh, we just came down badly. Oh, oh no, what happened was we detonated. Uh, we accidentally detonated a UFO, and the UFO. Um, set things off. Anyway. That's Spelunky 2. And then we're in Neo Babylon. Yeah, see, that's a hot tip. That's not... I will say, I did not discover that. Um, they made those hitboxes smaller. Uh, that was one of the... Actually, did they do that? They were doing that, but I'm not sure if that patch note has actually gone through yet or not. But they were planning to make the hitboxes on these things smaller. I don't even know what you do against these guys. Like... Like, I don't think you can get past them. Like, I need to, I need to get to the top guy, right? But I can't jump on the top guy, I have to whip him. I actually don't know how to, uh... And you see, he's... Okay, that solved the problem. Alright, Neo Babylon. Should we go into Madame Two Swords and uh, and see what's going on in there? Okay, we're not going into Madame Two Swords. Oh well, never mind. That's fine. Um, that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for coming by. That was that was a good time. Uh, we got it done. We got it done on the run back. Uh, feel good about that.
Uh, we'll check the leaderboards. Bottom of the leaderboards. Kyle finished. Well done, Kyle. Big props for that. A big win. We did not do very well. A new bite did pretty well and also has a character that we have not found yet, which is cool. Look at his weird face. I don't like that. I don't like that face. But um, yeah, congratulations to Kyle for his big victory. Thank you very much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope everyone has a lovely week. Um, I will catch you very soon for more Spelunky. Take care. Stay safe. Uh, stay hydrated. I had to think about what, what I was going to say there. Eat well, sleep well, wear a mask, all that good stuff. Take care. And there, yes, there indeed is Martin ahead of me. Well done. And uh, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Take care. Cheers.